Hey guys, um, the uh, round is just now restarting and we're going to try to get uh, the quartermaster position. I think, I believe my preferences is um, quartermaster, captain, and then station engineer. If I get captain, that's alright because, well, I can show y'all how the best way to do captain is and it's kind of boring because all you do is sit in your office. So, you know. That's not the funnest thing in the world. But we're going to try and get quartermaster. I will show you how to hack a mule bot. I will also attempt to hack an autolath. However, I have not hacked one in a long time, so I will probably fuck up. So I'll ignore that if I do. However, hacking an autolath will give you a, a bunch of different items, such as uh, RCDs and um, different types of items. I might keep that out because I don't. Won't traders hack an auto lads instead? I'm just fucking with you. Um, I don't think I'm gonna hack the auto lads because I haven't ha hacked one in so long, and I can't remember how to. Anyway, it looks like this is beginning now. I'm gonna have to deadman before admin or something says something. There we go. I do believe they're gonna be okay. They got uh, two PAs and an SA and a mod. Okay, we're trying for the quartermaster position. Uh, um, when I'm quartermaster, I like to keep things organized. You know, just trying to keep everything in place. Put papers on my clipboard. Put um, <coughs> uh, who knows? I might even get a round antagonist. That would even be better for the video. However, I doubt that's going to happen. If I am, though, everyone will be happy. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's just the beginning of the round because everyone is talking in the OOC. I need to pause this for a second. Alrighty, we are the quartermaster. This is what I wanted. Um. This is what we wanted here. We will get set up. It doesn't look like I have any cargo technicians, so we're going to have to do the work ourselves. I will get, um, robotics will probably be hollering for a, um, robotics crate, Ripley crate or something. Um, so. Uh, co cargo needs crates. They need crates. They need them, need them, need them. Because that helps them to keep cargo points. So, we're going to throw this one down here. Um. Let's keep this going. I believe the quartermaster should be ahead of staff. He runs the mining and cargo department which is actually plays a major role in the department in the station because I mean the main role of space station is to you know have pl uh, research plasma and other things and without the miners they can't get the plasma unless they go out and get it themselves I need to s not mumble force of habit sorry guys if I mumble through most of this and you can't understand what I'm saying however you can actually hear me now it looks like the warden needs something let's go see what the warden needs Let's go see what the warden needs. Lieutenant General David. Let's see what the warden needs. He probably wants a weapon crate. I don't know why he's sighing. I guess he doesn't like how I'm running the place. I'm not ordering him a electric maintenance crate without the C's approval because he is the warden.
this is how I run the quartermaster because he's going to be a dick about it. Without the captain of C's approval, I'm not ordering it because that is not his department and he has no control. And yes, I'm a very dick quartermaster because I don't give things out that people don't need. Miles can have his virus crate. It's actually something that needs... Okay. It looks like AJ. captain has denied the head of security his gloves because I mean it's common sense the ghosts are messing with us Throw this at the um. Detective here for him. Sounds like the captain has received disturbing news. Because, I mean, people don't normally go, oh shit, without something happening. Either that or he's a traitor and here to kill me. Which is what I'm uh, assuming, because, well, captains really don't just sit in QM all the time. And yes, captains can be a traitor. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and grab this and throw it on my clipboard and deny it. And I'm going to get my rubber stamps out here. I usually um throw my pen on the, uh, put my pen on the clipboard. I add the pen to the clipboard there. Then I have my stamps in my pocket so I can easy reach reach them easily. Like I said, I like to keep organized as the quartermaster so I keep every paper even if I deny them. <coughs> so yes, that that paper has been denied. Um virus crate that is going to be denied also because the captain said no. So we're just going to stamp our crate He's going to see that big red X on there. Maybe he'll leave in. Captain said no. So we're just going to pick up that paper. Throw it on the clipboard there.
Oh, did my cargo technician... Motherfucker. I don't know why my cargo tech does this. I have a um, dumbass technician on my side. Apparently, he was not standing here when the captain said no to Miles Green and the warden. He might have not have been here, so. <clears throat> mm. Anyway, I'm going to go get me. A multi tool and a so I can show you how to hack this mule bot. Fortunately, there's a report of revolution, however, I cannot be revved too easily because, well, I have sunglasses on. I have sunglasses on at that when I spawn, as you can see, you can see my glasses on there. I need to go get me a multi tool and a multi-tool uh, who's this this is Maya Diamond help her up here you need to be a friendly um, apparently I'm not gonna be able to show you how to hack this time because it seems someone has already stole the supplies I need. That's her, so I don't want to take that. Let's go in here and see if I can find this, and maybe I can get the CE to give me a crowbar. I mean, a multi-tool like I need. Uh, like I need. Need to go down to engineering and see if I can get me a multi-tool so I can show you all how to hack the meal bot. We're going to go to here request one. Maybe Dean Hall will be friendly and hand it to me. <coughs> if not, I'll. He might be friendly and he'll give it to me. Uh, he might steal it also. That was a dick move, Mr. Deal. I guess I can request one from engineering. I am at engineering. <clears throat> I need to request a multi tool. We're going to see if we can uh, get us a multi-tool. So I can show you how to hack the mule bot. <coughs> Let's see if we can contact the CE very via PDA message. But he has a tool belt, so I doubt he even has his own. See, Chief.
Let's see if we can get the CEO on the line there. Um, I can. I need 50 metal and glass. I didn't. I forgot about the auto lads. I, I really forget about them. Um, so we're gonna order us some uh, metal sheets. We'll order us some glass sheets. Alrighty, send that to the station here. We'll throw that in the auto lath. Shit, security already. Apparently the HOS is shit. <clears throat> it's all bronze and no brains. He's a medical doctor and he's out of he's out of crate. He's out of um first aid kit, so um we need to help out the fellow doctor here. So far we're eighteen minutes into the round. So So I hope this new microphone isn't as bad. Um looks like Zachary Berkemeyer. Zachary Berkemeyer. When Nano Transon put us on here, I didn't expect this. <coughs> I'm about to excuse more metal, also flash. It's good to role play every now and then. I'm 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 glad to see players actually role play more these days. I have plenty of people administrators on. I think. <clears throat> it seems that the uh, supply shuttle is here. We have a uh, metal and glass for the auto lath. This is us personally. And we gotta order stuff for the roboticist. 
As the QM, you need your PDA. Do not throw away your PDA when you're the quartermaster. Because people will message you constantly. However, I'm going to ignore the roboticist order because I don't think I have enough. I don't think I have enough for the um, order itself. Need to send this back real quick so I can um, order the uh, medical crate for this guy here. Um, I'll send that back. I'll order his medical crate, Mr. Reuben Stewart. A lot easier just to control F and find it. Apparently, it is a confirmed revolution on the station. However, I don't think I can get flashed because of these sunglasses. However, they could take me down. And, uh, strip me and kill me. I think I'm just going to take these off. Because I don't want to die. That survival technique there. I'm going to let Mr. Stewart in. He might be a rev, but I really don't care. I'm just going to try to... Put some glass and metal into the autolath. I think we got enough for a multi tool now. We do indeed. It's probably going to take a minute for that to, um. Oh, it did spit it out already. Okay. Okay, now I can show you how. This is going to work. Now be warned before I even do this. You're doing this on your own um, fault here. This is very dangerous. It can kill people if you cut the right things. I will show you how to cut them, but be reminded this is on you. All you. And it's going to be all. I'm trying to show these people how to hack a mule bot people. Leave me alone and about tr me doing my job. However, this is how you do it. You pull up the hack menu here. Then we're gonna get the multi tool out. Okay. As you can see, the charge light flickers right here. That's nothing important. Your radio crackle. That's not important. Your radio crackle again. Radio crackling is nothing. However, that is. That is a green wire, correct? It is. Green wire makes the thing run fast. So we're going to cut that sucker. Whack. It's cut now. Okay. External lights. I'm pretty sure you can figure out what that means. That means it can run over people when I cut this wire. Be reminded you're doing this on your own part. Someone gets hurt. It is your fault. Because you hacked it. Now I'm going to hack this one. I'm going to ride this one. Well, quite frankly, if I get in my way, that is their issue. Uh-oh. That magneto wire 
is what lets me ride it in the first place. So, that will be the last wire we need to cut. We're just going to Okay, he just sent a damn. I don't care really, dude. I'm trying to show people how to hack shit. I'll attempt to hack the auto lad, I guess. Let's go on a ride, shall we? No, wait, we gotta turn it on. Beep. We are now on the mule bot, and to control a mule bot, when you're riding it, is via PDA. So we're just going to uh, return to the main menu here. We're going to go to uh, research to come personally. Delivery bot control. We are on number one we're gonna set it to research division and we're also gonna set that to research sometimes it takes a minute for it to take, there we go click proceed it is uh, navigating to its delivery location as you can see, it's a lot faster than the normal mule bot. <coughs> the mule bot is now taking me where I need to go. It does go into the plastic flaps there. We are 30 minutes into this round. I do believe this microphone has uh, done its uh, job. And, um, so far this has been a halfway interesting round. I might record the next one if I set it to AI. Or if I get AI, I will record it because, well, mainly because I, ha I get a lot of questions about being the AI <coughs> so we will record that as well need to pause this for a second while we're not doing anything but besides writing to the research division okay I am back and we're going to continue oh oh yeah um blue warrior there just got run over by my mule bot so, like I said, be wary of hacked mule bots. Because they will run over you. And it's painful. Very painful. We'll see if we can get into research here via plastic flaps. I'm going to stop the mule bot. I'm going to take apart the. I'm going to break down this door. Alright. Well, he passed me because. Over here. Over here. <laughs> um, Rocco is not too observant. He ran right past me. Right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
emergency closet there. It's the least important one. Uh, I'll take these to mining via shuttle if needed. We are working with bombs here. So we got to uh, be careful when we are Alrighty. I'm gonna close that. Let's see if we can oh shit. I do not want personnel getting their hands on tank transfer valves. That would not be pretty. There would be It seems that the mule bot did kill someone. That's also a good example. When you do it, you're on your own accord. Apparently this person right here is trying to get into this locker because he thinks there's something dangerous in it. I'm just going to take the backpack and go then. Nah, shit. Dumbass. Ask the scientist. Right there. Maybe that will show him that they are for actually for mining. <laughs> However, he could have blowed me up on the way over here, which would have sucked. Like I said. I'd highly recommend that you don't talk to people. This guy's slow. I don't know what this guy's doing. <sighs> this guy's too damn nosy. That's how you get killed in Space Station. Stinky. Get your bombs.
Got these two bombs in there. Marco did good. Um. So. Shit. Um. What the fuck the CMO is thinking, but um. I did. Now, I don't know what this asshole is doing, but he's certainly not security. Security! He's a station engineer. There you go. My cargo tailp is aiding me. We're going to continue this. It seems that. Shut up, Peyton. Shut up, Peyton. Hang on. Annoying kids. Security boards. Security tag beams. I got an ad in here now. Now that guy's got a stun baton. Right. Boom. <coughs> Not happening. Mm. Get the fuck out. Damn. <laughs> this is a shithole right here. Thanks to Miles Green.
And that is how I end it. I don't like being arrested for shit I didn't do. So, I'm ending it there. Um, yep, ending it there. Uh, that was a good round. Anyway, I'm uploading this now. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.